Okay guys, um, big giant work site. Drywall, okay, so painted here, on. We're just doing touch-ups, this is all done. Um, we're just doing touch-ups. He's upstairs doing touch-ups now. Look how nice that looks. Isn't that nice? Bright. Problematic. Far brighter and whiter than I was hoping for, but it is what it is. Uh, so finish, we're gonna put the, we've tied the banister up, up out of the way. We're gonna put it back down now. Um, finished under here. Uh, second coat of mud on your wall. Da -da -da. Look at that. Don't go telling anybody I don't want to do more drywall than I have to. Look at that. Bam! I'll send some pictures of the prior with this video too so you can kind of see what they look like. I went ahead. I'm going to get into this too. I kind of redid that one because I wanted... I mean, it, it kind of hides, but when it moves, you can see the hole. So I think we should... We fixed it, we'll push it up, we'll caulk it all in, that'll be good. There's that one, it's gone too. Here is the second coat on the ceiling. So basically, I'm gonna come back, don't get there, come back tomorrow, Saturday, and I'm gonna put a light sand, and then I'm gonna put another coat and a quick texture. And I'm gonna use a thing called hot mud, which uh, dries in 20 minutes. So I'll probably bring one of my sons, and we're gonna come back and we'll sand uh, these hinges and stuff too start getting that stuff ready i talked to john today i guess you guys are going to replace the bottoms and the tops and he said he could have an m for me to prime by thursday of next week so if we do end up going over um it, it's just going to be what it is i mean there's some of this stuff that uh um you just got to be what it is so this floor is staying even though in my personal professional opinion which uh um, i'm not known for my tact this is all the crud that was underneath the washer and dryer. I would personally uh, suggest um, maybe to put a new piece of linoleum in there since you got vents up here doing linoleum. It's an even square, and man, I'll tell you, you could put in something really nice, and Vince does nice linoleum. He did some in my house, in my laundry room, actually. It looks like tile. It's absolutely gorgeous. But, um, yeah, that thing is pretty nasty. So, done. These walls are painted. Um, closets are done done in there um, these guys are painted this is the problem I had I'm doing this video at about noon I did a video for you guys yesterday and then when I got home my internet was off I don't think my internet came back on till about 1 in the morning or 2 in the morning or something so yeah I had a tree out or something took mine out so hence why you didn't get a video yesterday and I might send that video along as well um, because now it's less than where we were we have more accomplished obviously it's Friday it's about lunchtime or so uh, completely done two coats uh, closets are dark and completely done two coats um, we are just kind of rolling through everything again again all this is done this room is also completely done uh, sills and stuff too they're done uh, closet is done two coats that's also completed um, and as we move through the house here so like I said we're right about there I'm moving this way so we're gonna hopefully get this. The only wall we're probably not gonna do is we'll do some of it, but I'm gonna leave the kitchen because why well, paint something that we're gonna be rubbing and smashing cabinets against. Um, so that is what was up with that. Um, done through here. This is all done. We just, it's such a bright color, uh, extremely problematic. So we are just doing touch-ups. Anything that we think looks a little strange we are doing so all of this area here is done inside the windows he's just kind of touching up um, this is all completed this also completed as is the closets uh, two coats in there this came out really nice I know it's hard to see it's just so hard to videotape in this dark house this is also completed so we figure we're about 75 80 percent of the paintwork is done so Monday we're going to be uh, probably shooting baseboards um, and doing bathrooms. Monday we'll be painting the bathrooms. Obviously you can't really see it, but all that patchwork here is done. Um, and there's your heater that was here that is no longer. That's drying. Um, I believe this floor was staying, uh, so this floor will remain in place. Um, yeah, this will be a fast paint. It usually takes about two hours to paint a bathroom. Um, and then we're going to start on these 
And these guys will probably keep these hinges since they're already chrome, but we will remove these and we will patch so that you guys can decide what you want to do with that. And then as well down here, we will remove that guy, but we're still going to shoot that. We will ditch the hinges on there. Those are not staying obviously, um, cause you're going to be going to inset one. So we'll sand and make those ready for John. Let me show you the downstairs bathroom. Uh, so those, I mean, we got, got about a day or so worth of cabinet work day and a half maybe got about half a day so we'll be ready by the time john gets here thursday we will be pretty much ready to go directly into the cabinets um so as soon as he gets here we're up and running everything else like i said is completed but i didn't show you this bathroom uh we did our patchwork just like i showed you upstairs um and there's that patchwork uh, and then the same thing in here uh, we're going to get in we're going to keep the uh, hinges but we're going to remove these patch them we'll keep that guy since it's chrome and it's blurry it's blurry and chrome so that'll go into uh this floor is going to have baseboards because i believe you'd said doug is going to tile this floor so as far as i know he's tiling that and we're going to put baseboards in so all of our baseboards uh, will be delivered actually tomorrow up here so um i should be able to go pick them up and bring them in so we are up and running. This is the situation at your house. And we're gonna paint that light in too. So we haven't forgot about that. But um, yeah, drywall was a booger. Usually always is. Um, but this is where we are at. Um, we are moving, we are shaking. So uh, hopefully this finds you guys well. There's your color. A door looks nice uh, with that color. So. Um, I will go ahead and send this over this evening, unless of course my internet goes out, in which case I will call you and come back up here and use your internet, because that's what we're piggybacking off of up here right now. So, thank you guys, and um, yeah, give me a call. Bye.